welcome to week 11 of our 17 week series as we go through our building center to give you an in-depth look at our building process of your new Palm Harbor home. This week we present manufacturing day number two, part one. Hi folks, I'm Howard Broughton with Palm Harbor Cavco Center up in Fort Worth, Texas. And we're gonna show you today, from day two, what goes on while we, on the previous episode, showed what was going on in the roof section these other parts of the plant were also running their sections. Unlike site built houses, they run the people through the site and through the house. We're running the house through where the people are. So it's far more efficient. So in this stage, we have just now started putting the walls onto the floor. And as you can see over here in the plumbing, let's step over here. Here's the utility room with a two by six wall so it allows for the plumbing. The lines are coming in. The dryer line is coming in. The pipes are set up for the drain for the dryer or the wash machine, and it goes through the roof up here. So all of these partitions are set as cross walls. Let's show you what a bathroom looks like when it goes into there. Come follow me. Here we walk into one of the bathrooms, and we've already got the decorative panels put up that go behind the lavatories and the double lavatories of sink. The commode's been plumbed in with the shutoff valves on it. And these particular panels in a wet area you run your nail over them, they are vinyl. So you can see it's a vinyl. So anything that goes on there can be easily cleaned and washed off that's on half inch gypsum. Now that's far better than what builder grade is. Builder grade is like three inch and HUD will approve three eighths, but we use half inch in our building centers. Already set into this home is the one piece fiberglass tub. No seams and the faucets are already mounted in because we showed on previous videos where these are all sub assemblies and they're all done offline and then put into the to one piece fiberglass tub. So that's been mounted, already screwed to the wall. The gooseneck is put in up here for the shower head and is ready going to the next station for the roof to be put on. Let's step out. One of the things that we can show you from here is that when we put in the gooseneck for the shower, that's already got a wood partition, a wood uh, strong back put in there so that's something to fasten to. And that's your cold water line coming up from the diverter in the back of the tub. All that's been done, and, and these lines here are glue, where these panels have been glued to these walls to give a very sturdy and strong wall setup. But rest assured, that line has been set in already on a wood backer. And here's the here's the top of the tub. It's on a wood backer. So anytime we have a cabinet facing next to a wall, there's a wood backer in there to screw it to to make that solid piece stronger. All right, folks. Here we are in one of the master baths. And you know, in one of the previous episodes, we had talked about how items are assembled offline and then they're brought in to be installed. Here's an entire cabinet that came out of the cabinet shop area, already got the lavatories and the plumbing in. And if you notice how sub-assembly will put shutoff valves through the hot and cold water lines and already the guy hooked these up from standing on the floor from the outside. On a site built, they're crawling under there and they're trying to work with all that. That's efficiencies on our part because it's already been hooked up. That cabinet set in, the faucets are already gone on it, and it's ready to go. Look at this sub-assembly here. Here's where an eight-foot shower goes in. And what they've done is this is the top of the pan of the shower that's over on the inside. And they put a partition in, like purlin goes across, and they reinforce it with two-by material so it's very sturdy. That glass wall is going to go on to here that separates into the partition. Now let's look around here. Into the bath, Linen storage will go here. Here's a treat in the master bath. In the commode area, you can see the back side of a kitchen. These, these strong backs are put in here to help support the cabinets on the other side. You can see all that's put into it to give you something to screw to from the other side. We reinforce it on this wall. Now notice one thing. This has got a two by material on the bottom and a two by material on the top. I say that because that's not required. They can use one by. We chose to use two by material to strengthen it, plus we use an excess amount of glue that glues these panels to the wall. One of the things we want to show here is the prep work that's being done in order to set up drywall in some of the areas. This is a master bedroom, and you'll see how they taped the bed and textured it. The darker color, it is still wet. Those guys took off for lunch, and it's got a taping material over it. So this is set up for drywall, which is one of the options that people can get on their homes. 
One other feature I wanted to make sure you caught this. Remember this, because I'm going to show you this again. But on this particular house, the way we do our construction, notice there is no seam across there. What they did was they cut that window out. That makes this panel solid. That reduces the labor, so it gives you more value into your home. There is no seam across there. That piece was a solid panel, and they cut it out. That's a little bit better construction. It's stronger. It's going to pull all these walls together. And this particular house, as you can see, some customers will order a 2x6 wall. So this is a 2x6. Join us next week as we move further down the production line. We'll see what goes on in the next station. But as this series goes on, we want you to ask questions. Email us with what things you've seen or you have questions about. See the details down below on this screen. Join us next week.